welcome back. So today we're gonna be doing about sound and we're gonna check how to get everything connected with movement and all that fancy stuff. So let's begin. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have a trigger for world sound. What it's going to do is basically going to get uh, the sound from the object and trigger change to sound for wherever we are. The first thing we're gonna have is a sound file and object and then we're gonna have a source and a trigger zone. The trigger is just going to connect whenever we enter it and when we enter it the basic thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start the song. And for starting the song what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the source from the node and we're gonna check if the file is the same. If it's not, we're gonna switch it and then we're gonna play it. Something very simple for now. And we can see over here that we have the background song connected to the camera and we have nothing in it but looped. Then inside, we also have the empty sample and we kept the loop on and we left everything else. This is up to your own preferences. And as for the triggers, what we did, we added that world sound changer inside. That triggers can be found inside the net logic and world logic triggers. Then other than that, we have the specific sound file for when you enter alongside the object that we're going to change it in. We're also going to put touch. So the moment you go inside, it's going to fix. And the last thing is we need to trigger interaction inside the sound. The next thing we also have for footsteps is the sound controller to which we just add a little sound controller which we do the exact same thing where we check the node and we set the sound file and then we just have basic functions that is play stop and check if it is play for that we go inside our character controller and we add that footstep and then we just add the footstep sound effect where we're going to put it exactly on the feet of the character or where the sound source is going to come from. Again, same thing, empty with the loop. And as for the sound controller, the only thing we did was we added it inside our character controller and then we just get the node, we initialize it, and then in the update when it's idle, we play it. So after doing all that, as you can see, we have music being played in the background and we have footsteps whenever we're moving. Alongside that, we also go into another trigger and the song changes immediately. Now this was a quick little small tutorial and I believe we are almost ending the series. So I will see you guys next time and goodbye.